Hi guys, uh, Daniel John here and welcome back to another one of our product review videos and as you can see we're looking at a garden tipper dump trolley. It's made by Komodo. Um, it has four wheels, it has, it's steerable at the front and it has a locking latch that allows you to tip the whole thing. It's a bit, bit stiff because it's new, it allows you to tip the whole thing forward like that so you can put soil in it, gravel in it, bark, anything you want really. And we'll just show you some close-ups of it. So that's what it looks like underneath. Let me just, uh, it's got four pneumatic wheels. Let me tip that up so people can actually eat. And this is the uh, trolley underneath. Rubber wheels. Yep. Uh, it's self-assembly, it comes in a big box. It was delivered by a uh, DPD, we ordered it from Amazon. I'll put a link below in the description. It was about I think about £70 at the time of making yeah. this video, which is what, October 2022, yeah. just at the end of October. Um, will fit in the back of your boot, your car. It will fit quite, in the back of a car, yeah. So, which is quite, if it won't go in the boot, go on the uh, back seat, just slid along there. Goes down. What more can we say about it? Well, I'll tell you what more we can say about it, Daniel. Because it's got pneumatic tyres, it goes on, you've seen me come in on the grass, and that was absolutely fine. Yeah. Now we're on. Let's pretend it's a tarmac surface, but it isn't. Really you know what? This thing just glides along. And look at that turning circle. Yeah, it's got a very tight turning circle. So you can get it in tight places. Uh, You'll note we came through a standard garden gate, which is important. Yeah. You need to get through a standard garden gate. Yeah. So, the ultimate test. Let's stick a bag of sand in it. So we're going to put something in it. Um, just speak up a minute because it's a bit windy. We're going to put something in it. And wheel it before around, before put something in it, you'll notice that it's green plastic, so it's easy to wash. Just tip it to empty the water out. Uh, you could put a bit of cardboard in it if you wanted to. Uh, hours of fun with the grandchildren with this if you want to wheel them around the garden. Only if that was possible. There you go. There's a bag of sand in there. The other thing is that I'd like to, uh, it is easy to wheel around. Seriously, the, the key things with this is that with a wheelbarrow, you've got to take the weight with your arms all the time. And if you're doing a lot of moving around or tipping, uh, and you're a little bit older, or you know, you, you've got a disability, it's gonna be hard for you to do. So having one of these gives you the benefits of the wheelbarrow, yeah? Allows you to move things around yourself. Gives you that independence if you're a bit older as well. Um, it take a bit more than a wheelbarrow, you can see. It says it takes 250 kg. So we have got, actually got the assembly instructions here. So we'll just show you so what they look like. 250 kg, that would be 10 barrels of uh, 25 litres of water. How much does this weigh? This is 25 kg bag, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure it is. So it's about- Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's about 10 oh, litres. Look, it says on the it say anywhere? Should I know be. the gravel bags do. So this won't be far off it. I know so the gravel bags. Be about so. uh, ten of these. Yeah, literally. Did come with some instructions. It, it wasn't ripped. We just we just caught it. Uh, just have a look at some pictures on Amazon to see how it goes, or look at our video at the bottom. Uh, some of the bolts you might need to use your own because. And sometimes you might struggle just tightening them up a bit, so just bear that in mind. But overall, a uh, good product. It's got like very flush flathead bolts and nylon nuts on the bottom. Um, so, as you can uh, see, those some of these are our own. But Now this might seem a very simple thing. It's those ones. We substitute our own just because they're a little bit. This thing here. But it, it's got a bit of rubber on the handle. Yeah. So if you haven't got gloves on, you're using it quite a bit then um, that's going to be helpful. The thing that I'm, I'm, I'm interested in finding out, so if we pretend that's uh, a bag of sand we're going to tip or something, does it tip or not? So 
So I'm going to release the this here and tip. So basically, this is like the, the locking release, and it's also a handle that's bolted here. Did we get the tipping action then? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you can do it again if you want. When you put that down, just and do you just that give a it a bit of a tap on one side. I'm just down. going to show you how easy it's to tip. Yeah, there we go. So if you're going up to a raised bed or next to a bit of soil, you literally pull this handle here and tip. And these wheels sort of slide in with each other. And then pull that out and it looks stuck in. There you go. It just needs a bit of use. Uh, all in all, well I'd say yeah. It's easy to lift round if you want to lift it. It doesn't weigh a lot by itself. So, overall, 9 out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it 10 out of 10, in my opinion, is, I'll put it bluntly, and some dodgy bolts. So, uh, apart from that, um, it's worth the money. It'll do what we want. The only improvement we might make with it is put some of that... Uh, green stuff in case you get a puncture yeah so it just seals it yeah so it seals it um but obviously pneumatic tires are ideal for uh, rough surfaces like an allotment or your garden anyway if this has helped you move things along a little bit better in your garden or on your allotment or even on the beach i mean it'd be great on the beach for the kids wouldn't it or your grandchildren absolutely brilliant if this helped you a little bit uh if you wouldn't mind subscribing to our channel lots more videos coming on the allotment uh, and other how-to videos. <coughs> Thank you.